the plant children how many parts are there for a plant there are many parts no so let us discuss it one by one the different parts of a plant are roots stem leaves flowers fruits and seeds above the ground is called stem we can classify the plants into three types they are tree shrub and herb the stems of tree are strong and thick so it is called trunk have you observed the stem of a mango tree children the mango tree has a strong and thick stem no such kind of stem is called as trunk the stem of a shrub is woody and thinner than that of a tree for example have you observed the stem of a rose plant it is very thinner than a tree no The stems of herbs are very weaker and softer than that of the stem of a shrub. Have you observed the plants like tulsi, coriander, mint etc? They are very weak and soft than shrub. functions of stem the stem helps the plant to stand straight in the ground from the stem leaves buds flowers and fruits grows the stem helps the other parts of the plant how you know children the stem will carry the nutrients minerals and water from the root to all the parts of the plant like leaves flowers fruits etc and you know children the plant prepare its food 
in the leaf the leaf is called as the kitchen of the plant so the prepared food from the leaves is taken by the stem and it is given to the other parts of the plant and some of the stems can store food which of the stem can store food some of the examples are potato ginger etc and these stems we can consume as our food now let us do an activity children the materials required are a beaker with some water a white flower plant some blue ink and red ink take some water in the beaker and pour few drops of red ink and dip the plant inside the water after 8 to 10 hours you can find that the color of the stem and the flower might have changed into the color of the ink which was poured in the beaker now cut the stem you could find the color change the next part of the plant is leaf leaf is an important part of the plant why you know children leaf is the part in the plant where the plant prepares its food like your mother prepares food in the kitchen there is a kitchen for the plant that kitchen is called as the leaf so other name of leaf is food factory of the plant now let us learn about the different parts of a leaf see this picture children the leaf has flat and broad surface which is called as leaf blade and this leaf blade is attached to the stem by a small stalk stalk means by a small stem like thing that is called as petiole and if you observe the leaves you could find some lines some lines will be thick and some lines will be small okay so this thick lines is called as midrib or main veins and the small small lines which is arising from the thick lines is called as side veins and if you see the leaves you could see small small pores in the leaves that pores are called as stomata we have already learned in the first lesson about stomata what is the function of stomata children the function of stomata is that it helps the plant for breathing in exchange of the gases so now take a leaf and observe the parts of the leaf what are the parts children leaf blade petiole midrib side vein and pores called stomata so observe these five parts in a leaf now let us learn the functions of the leaf so first function i have already told you leaf is the kitchen of the plant leaf is the place where a plant prepares its own food the second function is leaves has stomata which helps the plant in breathing third is what gases the plants breathe children the plant will breathe in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen that oxygen which the plant gives out is used by who by human beings and animals for breathing purpose and like the root stem the leaves can also store its food for example such kind of leaves we take in as a food examples are cabbage spinach etc the next part of a plant is flower flower is the most beautiful part of a plant the flowers are in different shapes size and colors see these flowers children they are in different shapes no they are in different colors also the colorful attractive part of the flower is called as petals and the green part of the flower is called as 
sepals. Now let us learn the functions of a flower. The first function is flowers turn into fruits. Now let us see one example of a flower turning into fruit. See this pomegranate children. The flower of a pomegranate turn into this beautiful tasty fruit. And the second function of a flower is flower is providing food for some insects. Which are the insects you know children? Butterflies and bees. What food it is providing for the insects like butterflies and bees? It provides nectar. The next part of a plant is fruit. So most of the fruit is formed from flowers. So flowers turns into fruit. Fruit is the most fleshy part of the plant. So fruit is the part of the plant which we can eat. Some fruits has one seed. So now let us see some examples of the fruits having one seed children. See here. Mango has one seed. Apricot has one seed. Avocado has one seed. And there are some fruits just having more than one seed or many seeds inside. Some of the examples are papaya, apple, watermelon, etc. The last part of a plant is seeds. So you can find seeds inside a fruit. A fruit protects the seeds. A seed can reproduce into a new plant. For example children, you have a bean seed with you. Okay? And you are digging the soil and putting the seed inside the soil and watering. What will happen? It will germinate and grow into a new plant. And there are some seeds which we can eat. Such types of seeds are known as edible seeds. Now let us see some examples of edible seeds. For example, coconut, peanut or groundnut, almond, etc. Now there are some seeds which we cannot eat and they are known as inedible seeds. Now let us see some examples of inedible seeds. Mango seed. Can we eat the seed of a mango? No, it's not possible, no children. So it is an inedible seed. Apple seed. Apple seed is also inedible seed. Papaya seeds. We cannot eat papaya seeds, no. So it is an inedible seed.